Hello Animals fans and welcome back to the Animals Reviews YouTube channel. Today we're looking at who I would cast in an Animorphs movie, because we need more Animorphs movie talk really, don't we? And the first character that I'm going to put in, or, or do casting for, is one of the more important casting choices, I think. And it's going to be Visser 3, or Esplin 9466. Largely voiceover, but also his human morph, okay? So, I've got, I've narrowed it down to six. Disclaimer, I'm not a movie guy, I don't watch many films, so I don't know many actors, so I've got a pretty shallow base to choose from, but I'm hoping that you like some of my choices, what I've gone for with some of these. Uh, what, we, what we're looking for with Visa 3, what I've gone for, is characters who can play a number of little sub roles. So it's got to have an intimidation factor. The actor in question needs to be, when they want to be, intimidating. They can be angry, loud, and they can be quite scary when they do it. But the character also needs to play the dick dastardly role. What do I mean by dick dastardly role? Mustache twirling, bad guy, <laughs> that sort of guy. But is also quite often, um, humiliated in, in, in some way. So that's, those are the factors that I'm going for when choosing this character. Obviously it has to be a male, because male. <laughs> uh, apart from that, that's, that's pretty much all that I've used as the traits I need. So the first one is probably one of the more obvious ones, and that is Eugene Lipinski. Who's Eugene Lipinski? Well, if you're an Animus fan, you should pretty much bloody know by this point. Eugene Lipinski played Visa 3 in the original TV series. It's been a while, but he is still in acting. And so I've got a couple of examples of his most recent works, both within the last couple of years. Just so we can see what he's been up to, how much he's changed, if he's changed much at all. And spoiler alert, he hasn't changed much at all. So this is a silent film he was in called The Great Lacoste. So let's have a look at some of this. So that, that's him there. On his bike. There's the lad. Absolute lad, Eugene. Get in there. He actually looks a bit like Michael Grant now, doesn't he? Or does Michael Grant now look more like Eugene Lipinski? I don't know. But that's him. I think that's one of his most recent things, was this short film. And then we've also got this thing he was in, which is called An Amish Sin. Now, he plays the bishop. Now, watch here. I accept your judgment. This transgression cannot go unpunished. As always, we look to our own hearts and ask ourselves, who are we? What do we stand for? What is it that sets us apart? As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. So that was Eugene Lipinski in a, a spoken role as that bishop guy. And he doesn't sound that much different, obviously more subdued. But I think Eugene Lipinski can do as good of a job as Visser 3 as he did in the TV series, judging from those two bits that we've seen from his most recent work. Would there be problems? Uh, he's a bit old now, isn't he? He is a bit old, and he probably won't be able to give the act the same gusto that perhaps he did in the TV series. And honestly, I would like to see a bit a, ch a change up, go for like a, a more an A or B list actor, if we're going to get a big budget movie. If it's lower budget, then yeah, just go for the Eugene. You put Eugene back in there, absolute lad. Okay, so that's my first option. Let's move on to the next option, shall we? My second option is one that I've talked about before. His name is Charles Dance. So when I first did the videos on who. I'd potentially cast in this movie. He was one of the first suggestions for Visa 3 uh, that I ever put across this movie. And as much as I still think he has that 
perfect intimidation factor going on there. And that deep, hauntingly creepy voice. I don't think he's got the dick dastardly factor, but possibly, possibly. So let's have a look at a bit of Charles Dance. I was confused. As an actor, you often have to spend, expend a lot of energy trying to make a silk purse out of a pig's ear and Im improve bad writing. But it's a peculiar business because there's probably a case for writing two versions of a draft, one for actors and one for potential financiers, because potential financiers often, by and large, tend to be short on imagination, and you really have to spell it out. Uh, as I understand, you were you, you were killed on the toilet, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yes, by my ungrateful <laughs> little son. <laughs> yes, but... Yeah. What would you say to him if you... So that's Charles Dance. I think he's got a great voice for Visa 3, and he can turn up the volume. But does he have that dick dastardly factor? This is one of my, if I were to choose out of any of these six, he'd be on the lower end of the list, but I still think he could possibly pull off a decent Visa 3, given the right script. But I think that there are probably better suited actors out there. I mean, even Eugene Lipinski. <laughs> Although saying that, if it was a choice between Eugene Lipinski and Charles Dance, I'm gonna go for, go for Charles Dance but I wouldn't be disappointed with Eugene Lipinski. So let's look at my next option. The next on my list, number three, is John Malkovich. I don't know very much about this guy, but I've watched a few clips with him. He's been in big films, so he's a big time actor. But I think he's, he's got a really great angry act. So let's have a look at this example. somewhere between a cockroach and that white stuff that accumulates at the corner of your mouth when you're really thirsty. But in your case, I'll make an exception. I put my jammies on all by myself, mommy. John Malkovich strikes me as very similar to Eugene Lipinski. But I think in that first clip there, he's got a great angry side that I think suits Visa 3 to a T. Can he play the Dick Dastardly role? I think he can. I think John Malkovich is a, is a bloody good shout, I think, for Visa 3. Do you agree with me? Tell me. You know, you need, I need you to put suggestions, by the way, down there. So let's have a look at my next nomination for Visa 3. This one is one that Pebble doesn't agree with. Danny Trejo, I believe that's, is that how you say his name? I think so. Trejo? It's this guy. I remember him. He was in. He was in Breaking Bad, and he's in a few other things as well. He's around quite a lot, but he's the fact that the boxes he ticks are the intimidation, and I believe the Dick Dastardly factor. So let's have a look at some of the stuff he's done. I mean turtle. That's me. I take my time, but I always win. No, cut the bottle, why is it? I wasn't planning on cutting the bottle. No. Somebody run off with your old lady legally, you're allowed to cut off. So I think Danny Trejo, again, I think, I just want to make sure I'm pronouncing his name right. He pulls off the insane bad guy particularly well. And that's why I've chosen him, because let's face it, Esplin was an insane bad guy with a distinctly intimidating visage. He checks all those boxes. He's an he's a out-of-left-field nomination, but I think he's like the dark horse of this little competition of mine. <laughs> him. I like him. He's good. Next option, number five or six, is Willem Dafoe. He looks crazy. <laughs> he's 
basically what he's got going for him. This guy looks cray cray. And if, if we're going to go full, Visa 3 is almost like a Joker style villain. Could go for Jack Nicholson, but I think he's retired from, I think he's retired from acting. He hasn't done anything for years. So that's why he's not on my list. But this guy is, he does that. And it's really no problem to get rid of chocolate, peanuts, or spinach, because there are many techniques, and I know them all. Suck them. Spit them. <laughs> Vacuum them. Tongue them. The guy's visibly crazy. He's perfect for the role. <laughs> yeah, he, another dark horse because he doesn't have that sort of explosive side that Espen did, but he, he nails that just creepy and, and he pulls the facial features that I think would be perfect for him, like that. How does he do that with his face? Guy's obviously a controller, yes, yes and a high-ranking one at that. He'd be perfect for Visa 3. <laughs> I have one more option, and this last one is, is not a totally serious choice, but if we were absolutely on the lowest budget possible where we can't even afford Eugene Lipinski, and we were going for the full-on let's not take this guy seriously act, I've got the perfect guy. This guy is on YouTube, and he's called Flying Pig United. He's a football fan. But by golly, he's got one of the funniest voices. And if you want to go watch somebody on the verge of a heart attack, just go watch this guy. He's brilliant. And he's British, which all villains are. And he's British, which all villains are, according to my wife. So let's just have a listen to him and uh, see if you agree with me, if you think I'm onto something here. Down from a player behind him. And not got the pace to get back, so he lunges in sure. and gives away a... Oh shit, no, I don't fucking believe it, guys. And Jensen, just two seconds later, I don't even know what's happened, but the ball's in the fucking back of the net, guys. Come on now, come on now. What is going on? It's a fucking absolute crumble job implosion again by Manchester United here. I'm guessing that's Visitor 3. I don't even know what's happened, guys! I looked up for two seconds and they fucking scored! What is happening with this United back line? It's an absolute abysmal shambles and melts! They're fucking melts, guys! Visitor 3. Bollocks, mate! It's a shambles! It's a fucking shambles in the first half! Come on! What are we doing? This is United at home! What the fuck's this about, guys? No matter how many bodies of steel, you will not win this war. We will fight you. Fucking hell, my fucking board happened again! Ah, oh, you fucking sweetie fucking 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 so he's just an angry fat man. <laughs> but he is awesome. I love Flying Pig United. And I I think if we were on a shoestring budget, I would I would pick him. Just to be the insane, on the verge of heart attack all the time, Visa 3. <laughs> just being completely mad and off the wall. So those are my six nominations for the casting of Visa 3. Do you agree of, with any of them? Do you think any of them would play a good Visa 3? Of course you've got Lejean Lipinski, you can't really go wrong, can you? Or do you have other suggestions? Who do you think would make a good Visa 3? Tell me in the comments below. And tell me which of my six make the best one as well, so... Thank you very much for watching. We'll do more of these in the near future, so please stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!